Let's solve um, x double dot, the second derivative of x with respect to time, minus 2x dot plus 5x equals 0, with the initial conditions x of 0 equals 1, and x dot of 0 equals 1. So this is a um, second order linear uh, constant coefficient uh, differential equation, homogeneous. So to solve this, we, uh, we try uh, x of t equals e to the rt. Substitute in and cancel e to the common e to the rt. So we get the characteristic equation r squared minus 2r plus 5 equals 0. Uh, to find the roots of this equation, uh, 5 uh, is 5 times 1, so it doesn't easily factor, so we use the quadratic form formula. So r, 2 roots, plus or minus, equals negative b, which is 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, 4, minus 4ac, minus 4 times 5, which is 20, over... Uh, 2a, 2. This is the square root of 16, of negative 16. So that's um, 4 times i, square root of minus 1, 4i. We divide through by 2, so we have 1 plus or minus 2i. Okay? So we have um, complex conjugate roots of the uh, differential equation. So what we found then is two um, complex solutions, e to the rt. So we have two solutions, right? Two complex solutions. And then um, we can take a linear superposition of those two complex solutions to obtain two real solutions. Uh, the real solutions then are going to be um, e to the real part of r times t, and then the imaginary part here goes into the argument of cosine and the argument of sine. So our general solution here is going to be um, e to the real part here, 1 times t, so e to the t times a constant, times cosine 2, this 2, times uh, t, plus another constant, times sine 2t. Okay? So that's the um, general solution for the case of uh, complex conjugate roots of the characteristic equation. So uh, we need the uh, x, and we, then we need its derivative to satisfy the initial condition. So the time derivative of here uh, will get an e to the t again. And then it's the derivative of the first times the second, which will just give us a cosine 2t plus b sine 2t plus the first, e to the t, times the derivative of the second. So the derivative here will give us minus 2a sine 2t plus 2b cosine 2t. Okay. And then we have the initial conditions. So we have x of 0 equal to 1 as part of the specification of the problem. So substituting t equal to 0 here. So this e to the 0 is 1. Cosine 0 is 1. Sine 0 is 0. So we end up with uh, a equal to 1. And then the second um, initial condition, x dot of 0 equals to 1. So we have e to the 0 is 1. So we have a plus b times 0 is 0, minus 2a times sine 0 is 0, plus 2b equals to 1. So a is 1, 
So that tells us then that B must be equal to 0. OK, so then we get our solution. So x of t then is equal to e to the t times cosine 2t. And that will satisfy x of 0 equals 1. And x dot of 0 uh, will be um, the derivative of the first times the second will also give us 1.